On this episode of the podcast, we are taking a look back at what has been an amazing 2022 and giving you a look ahead to what's coming in 2023. We've also got Elf Siege from Armor of God Esports joining us on the Industry Insider interview. So make sure you stick around for that. It's the last episode of season four. Let's go. Hey, yeah, message heavy. Don't prompt show. They not ready. Race against the time like four wheels and hands ready. Keep it steady. Beat it hard and they barely give them ears and hear the truth when the life throw confetti. Yeah, message heavy. Don't prompt show. They not ready. Race against the time like four wheels and hands ready. Keep it steady. Beat it hard and they barely give them ears and hear the Five twenty collective. Listen every day or get robbed. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, man. Welcome to the 520 Collective Podcast. It's indie Christian culture. You know what it is. Make sure you check us out at 520collective.com. This episode of the 520 Collective Podcast is being sponsored by Kingdom Club Apparel. Kingdom Club Apparel specializes in clothing, accessories, drinkware, and more. Check out latest merch at www.god the number one s t e n t dot com slash kingdom dash club dash apparel that's where you go to check out all the merch uh, including their new dad patch caps so grab yours a day kingdom club apparel where hearts are heard yeah man so i'm eric boston you already know what it is i'm with my guy zero for hire what's up dude fighting for my life over here oh yeah is that yeah, bad? kids going in and out there's a situation going down at the slaughterhouse <laughs> it's that bad he says oh i had my mic muted the whole time so you could do your intro but well, what's good tell tell them where they can follow you at you can follow me on twitter at zero for hire that's consistent as of the new twitter is awesome as well as on telegram you can find me on the uh, 520 collective page you can find me on a bunch of other pages over on telegram because that's the fun place to hang out and you can follow me on twitter as well you can see it on screen at eric boston three that's at eric boston in the number three well i guess if you're not watching this live you're not seeing it on your screen and if you're just listening to the podcast that's cool we love that you're listening if you want to get involved when we are live and recording on youtube or if you want to follow us along in our t- new telegram channel which we're going to talk about more in a little bit uh make sure you do that and you can you know get in on the conversations as they happen dude yeah, if this- you're listening to the podcast i'll give you a very smooth there's a uh, a string of lights a christmas tree red and green lights flicker in the background eric boston has a pile of presents behind him uh it's a bag it's a bag of presents but bag yeah. of presents behind him it's a bag where's yeah. barry sanders at yo he's back there oh there he is okay barry sanders he's there smiles right so all right that's that's all i got <laughs> yeah it's man been it's, a, it's been a week dude yeah. it's december man it's been a lot of unexpected events uh a lot of things happening and we've been doing a lot here at the here at the household dude can you believe that it is our last episode of season four yeah that's crazy you've been on here you've been on here for a whole year dude i can't believe you guys haven't run me out of town yet <laughs> like, <Right>? where <laughs> did the time go well i uh i feel like you're enjoying it I am. I am. I, and I do. I was, like I said, I was very reluctant to come on to the show in the beginning. And now I feel like it made the right decision by sticking around. No, it's been good. Dude, we, we've, had, we've had a lot of things happen this year. And I actually want to talk about some of them, man. Starting with the fact that this was the first year that we received a nomination from the Kingdom Choice Awards for the podcast. We were a nominee for the podcast slash radio show of the year. Ultimately, that went to the Fix Radio Show on Holy Culture Radio. Shout out uh, to DJ Focus and Dice Gamble on that. But dude, it was pretty awesome, you know, to get that recognition from the people at the Kingdom Choice Awards. Props is is always nice to give and to get, and uh, we're not usually on the getting end of it, so it's much appreciated. And we will continue to do the best we can, as always. Right, man. And, you know, people, hey, you know, I appreciate everyone that comes on here and they support us. You know, they listen to the podcast. They let us try to figure out some of this technical stuff as we are 
you know, incorporating more of, you know, live streaming into the podcast as well. It, it's been cool, man, because when we sit down and we look ahead to, to, you know, each new year, we try to set out some goals and we sort of try to look ahead and say, this is what it might look like this year. And that's never how it looks like, right? That's how you make God laugh is to make plans. I don't know. It was interesting, man. I, I did not ever really think that we were going to get into a lot of, you know, like the live streaming side of stuff with the podcast and but you had that ability you got us going no this has been a journey for both of us yeah man uh... but but i guess all that to say shout out to the people who are along for the ride and supporting us as we go as the 520 podcast is getting ready for season five man dude we added another podcast just to the platform our guy darius molin and a few of his friends got together they decided to put together a podcast called dino nuggets and I believe they are three episodes in at this point. It's pretty cool, man. It's just, you know, some a group of friends that like Christian hip hop and they get together every so often and they talk to talk about it, right? Uh, but they do something that's kind of unique where they all come with this list, right? Where they've got, I'm, I'm not going to remember all of it, but I know it's got like a current Christian hip hop song, like a, yeah, a throwback song that's like five years or older. And then like a non- chh song that they talk about pretty cool you know it's on. you can find that on mixcloud as well as 520collective.com uh maybe we can throw one of those episodes in the stream just to give people a little take like the first one's free you know but yeah shout out to darius mullen and, and that whole crew there with dino nuggets man if you haven't checked it out make sure you go do it we did you know uh one thing that we do is uh we partner you know with some of the the artists that we have built relationships over the last few years and we help them with some releases you know we, we come alongside them and we support them on some drops man i just want to you know make sure to shout out uh, a few people that we did what we call our 520 presents with this year brm and brody da vinci uh we we were able to be a part of their song rise so shout out to them guys shout out to our guy oze he had released a song early in the year called Going Down. And then the dude that you guys see on here a lot with us whenever it comes to the live streams. Wasn't able to make it tonight, but King David the Vessel released a new album this year. It's fantastic. If you have not heard it, make sure you go and do so. It's called Practicing Forever. And then Zero, you dropped uh, a new song called Alone that we were able to do a little bit for as well yeah well, that was kind of rare for the platform because it was way out of the genre of what we normally do so i added to the rock music of what we're doing here at 520 proud about that yeah man so 520 presents and we will have some information for 520 presents for 2023 coming up here in just a moment whenever we get into what's coming ahead but yeah there's some cool stuff for for artists to really get involved and let us you know kind of walk along beside them as that happens uh but the, the last few things man that i was excited about from this year obviously you know we got to doing stuff more on youtube live recordings of the podcast like we're doing right now right and, and streaming that to youtube to artist interviews and then we had staff discussions i mean there's been a lot of cool stuff what what's been kind of the highlight for you whenever it's come to uh, i think YouTube. the best thing the best thing that we've decided to do for the podcast, in my opinion, is record live on YouTube because we get all of what we need for the for the recording. You know, you can edit that together or whatever. But then we got so we've had so many good conversations. There's days where we sit down here and we're going for two hours. It's starting to look like the Joe Rogan podcast, except I don't have a good enough mic yet. We'll get there. We'll get you. We're going to get you for sure. <laughs> Okay, so in addition to YouTube, which everyone, if you're not subscribed, go to go and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We got some big plans for it. We're going to get more content out to you. Our goal is to go live once a week in 2023. We might not get every single week. Some weeks it may be for 30 minutes. Some weeks it may be an hour, whatever. But that is our goal is to come and you know be able to see everybody and do that, man. Just, oh, just speaking of um, basis, streaming you know? live... Speaking of streaming live um, at least once a week, not just YouTube, but also on Telegram. So if you're a part of the 520 Collective Telegram, uh, is is it the streams a separate channel or how, how no, do you have so, that set up? So go and it, it's on the screen right, screen right now for those watching. If you're listening to the podcast, it is T. So the letter T dot me slash 520 live. 
if you are your telegram user or even if you're not download the app it's free it's a great way to talk to other people uh but we have a channel on there that you can follow and yeah we are like we're streaming live right there in our telegram channel right now as we're speaking uh but the cool thing with it as well as you get updates from the website so when we're posting new content you can get it right there directly to you get that notification and you know we we drop some exclusive information in there as well too right we'll we'll share different stuff with people that's a much more personal channel telegram has got me interested man and, and i'm excited to see where it can go with it dude and there's a lot of great channels that you can follow on telegram and there's a lot of great channels of like media related to the chh space right the christian hip-hop space shout out to that's not christian they have a channel on there zero you've got a channel for your personal podcast uh grow the heck up you know boss cornerstone is on there so sh- just shout out to a few of the people you know that we rock with as far as our peers here in this space yeah i would love for you guys to go and join the channel because the more people we can get in there subscribe to the channel uh, it opens up some opportunities for us to do some different things with it uh, that i think could be really cool so that's kind of our our our, our 2022 <laughs> Uh, recap, man. But that's not everything that we have going. Because oh, we, no, got, we got we got a little more room on the plate. We we've got some stuff coming in 2023 that I want to dive into, man. That I think people are going to be excited about. So people know that we have some different services, and some of us on the team offer services that help creators, help artists. We can even help you know other podcasters. You know a lot of different ways to apply the th- the, the skills that we have. Right? It's a little known fact that Eric Boston does the CD cover art for about a third of CHH. I don't know about that. Just across the board. I don't know about that, but I do. I do a few. I do a few. Yeah, man. Let, and let's talk about some of the services that are coming in 2023. Man, we're excited because we think these are going to be things that can really help out the christian hip-hop community been working behind the scenes real close with with our guy our our web guru picasso ramirez shout out to him man ramirez internet solutions and so he picasso put our website together right and i can tell you guys this as well if you've gone to the bookkeepers website uh tbk247.com you know he you know helped with that whole new look that the bookkeeper has as well uh so we've got some stuff man because okay zero as an artist outside of needing musical content what else do you need what 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 is a key component a key tool how do people find you i I don't know i don't know oh yeah 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 you need a website you need a website right you need a website you need a website website Right. Well, check this out, though. We know that websites can be pricey. We want to help artists. And in 2023, very soon, we're going to be able to offer artist website creation and hosting through 520collective.com and Picasso Ramirez Internet Solutions. So if you're an artist, you need a site. The basic packages are going to be affordable they're going to look good. We got some templates that you're going to be able to choose from and have a home base for your music. So I feel like this is huge because there's so many artists at CHH that don't have that, right? Some of them do. A lot of them have a link tree, you know, and that's not necessarily yeah, a website. That gets, say, that gets a lot you of to other stuff. have something like a link tree or some sort of social thing. I, for my podcast, have a website specifically for my podcast. But for my music, yeah, I'm just like a lot of them. I'm still using Audio Mac or some other social media. And I think um, I need to also put myself out there and show you guys what, why you need this and what it's capable of for people to be able to say, like, I want to check this guy out. Well, and dude, honestly, websites are huge. And I'm excited that Picasso's putting this together where we can offer these websites to artists, help them get it going, and even be able to offer that hosting where we can help support them you know there's going to be a base price there'll be some a la carte type items that they can choose from depending on their needs and their budget uh that thing is going to be fantastic man i want i was going to save this for after this but i'm going to go ahead and jump to this and we'll go back to my 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 second bullet point here in a minute but because i see like 
B plus is saying I need to refresh my own website. So here's so here's part two of this, right? We're going to be able to offer getting these sites together for artists. But what about the people that already have a website, right? Whether it's an artist, someone like a content creator, like B plus, maybe another podcast host. You know, <laughs> I mean, say it like that. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, I don't know, whatever, right? Just but I'm listening. I'm listening. But but if you already have a website, we're also going to offer website hosting on our own dedicated server as well so you could get your website moved from wherever your host is right now to this 520 slash ramirez internet solutions server where we can help take care of you and here is why i'm excited about this man here's why i want people to think about and why they should consider doing this with us it's our server right we are there to support you and here's what i'm telling you Yes, you would hope that if you have your hosting through a GoDaddy, for example, right? You would hope that nothing ever happens. But, man, we've been seeing stuff. We've been seeing stuff this past year. that we, We've seen people get Do shut down. Well, we, we, you know, we, we've seen people be shut down in other... On, on a, a website? Other, it's possible, on man. social media sites? Well, but it, it's possible, right? Where... All of a sudden, at some point, hosts like that could decide, you know what, the content you're putting on your site is not stuff that we agree with or that we support. Um, yeah, so we're just going to we're, we're gonna kick you off the, the hosting. We're going to kick you off our server uh, because we are trying to silence that. And especially when you're talking about people that are trying to share the gospel, right? Because I think we know that this is the kind of stuff that's going to happen at some point. Hopefully not right now. But if it does... And you join our server, you get your stuff moved over. We will be able to keep your site up and going because we're not going to try to silence you about sharing the gospel. Right. So that's the one thing I want to challenge people to consider and, and to think about and, and look at. Boston found said he needs uh 520 to build our own Google slash internet. Uh, he'd sign, <laughs> man, I'll, I'll, I'll pass that along yeah, to Picasso, man. Say, so you're, yeah, you're, we'll, we'll you're not, you're not looking right at the that. guys that are going to do that. That would be, uh, he's got a plug in where, um, when your people visit your site and you click it and then you just pop right out of the TV and give them a concert right in the living room. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like you put these goggles on. Never mind. Go ahead. No, no, I'm just saying like, Dude, Picasso is amazing. So he might be able to do that. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But um, anyway, so going back to, you know, we talked about being able to offer artist websites, but we wanted to fit something into everybody because, I mean, they're going to be really affordable, especially compared to other sites. Like we've already been looking into this. We've been talking, like I said, for a long time, but we also know it's not going to be like dirt cheap. We're not giving these sites away, right? So we thought about, okay, what about if you're just starting out and you don't have much of a budget at all? How else can we potentially help people there? And we have the solution. And this is, I said, a lot of this is really, really, really close to being up and ready. Some of it might be ready, you know, come January is what we're shooting for. But what we're looking at is... I'm dying for you to tell me what this next thing is. Electronic press kits. I'm at the edge of my seat. Electronic press kits, man. For... For artists, um, if you, once more for the people in the back, EPKs. We're we're gonna offer EPKs, <laughs> create creation and hosting of EPKs through 520collective.com, man. Um, so if you don't know what EPK is, it's like a one pager that just tells people about you, man. And what's cool about the it elevator is elevator pitch. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's visual, right? It, it it looks good. You can have a custom domain. We can help you set that up. People use their EPKs in different ways, right? Some people, they'll put it out there. They're fine with fans seeing it, getting to see a little peek, peek of them. Some people use EPK specifically to do stuff like promote themselves or, or to you know get their information to promoters, right? Or concert organizers, right? Where they can say, hey, the, here, I'd like you to consider me. Here's some information about me. So it doesn't have to be public. We can set it up private for you to where you can share it with the people that you want to share it with. But those are going to be affordable in price than the full-blown websites right that we can and set the thing up. that an epk can do that a website can't do is it will get you the right amount of blue m&ms in the green room when you show up sure you can put that on the website but not everybody's going to read it but if in your yeah i guess i don't know i'm, I'm not an artist man so maybe have you well, requested a I mean, certain number yeah, of blue m&ms i might be wrong it's not a writer it's not a writer i'm sorry so i just 
really wish I had some M and M's right now. Yeah. So so EPKs, man. EPKs. You know, this is something me and Picasso have been talking about for a, a hot minute, dude. And, and we've been, but we want to do it right. You know, I think that's the biggest thing is we want to get it done right. Yeah, lost and found. We appreciate that, man. He said, "Good job, fellas. These are the things the culture needs." We agree, and that's why we're trying to do it, man. You know, we we listen, we hear stuff, and we're doing what we can with the skills and the abilities we've got. Now we just need some people to come along and, and support it and jump on it, man. So we can, you know, get the kinks worked out, make it work, make it grow, and make it be a value to the chh community man so a couple of final things that we wanted to share on this final episode of season four another thing we've been talking about for a while man that's close to coming to fruition is a digital music store on 520collective.com zero i know you're gonna have your music on there I've got everything ready i've already sent it to picasso we're just waiting on it mm-hmm. couple 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 of of, of final details to get worked out, making sure that the music that's up there and available uh, is secure and how it gets transferred to people when they purchase it. So we got to make sure that all those T's are crossed and I's are dotted. You know, artists are going to be able to be a vendor with 520 Collective and sell their music on there. And I can tell you this, man, it's because we've already kind of tested it in the back in the background. So we know kind of how quick this stuff happens. Hmm. Whenever someone purchases your music, the artist gets paid out almost instantaneous. Definitely within an hour of the purchase, you're wow. get you're getting money put into your account. There's no three month wait or anything like that. The only thing that comes out of it is going to be the PayPal fees in, that are involved um, because we run it through WooCommerce and there's um, you know that 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 uses paypal on that end so there's there's a paypal fee of like 30 or 40 cents something like that but other than that uh you know, i mean depending on the price depending on the price but we were testing it out with some singles you know setting them at like a dollar 50 so that way the artist would get about a dollar for every purchase of a single so uh but we can put albums on there and the artist can set their price for the albums so man yeah this is stuff that's happening man and, and it's there and it's real close we've been working on it for i mean some of the stuff we've been working on for the last couple of years man and like we said we wanted to get it right with it so and i was talking to somebody about this earlier today where they were like well why don't i just use uh spotify and that's fine like a lot of people a lot of artists have things on spotify but when we are intentionally trying to grow a community i know for myself there are there are projects that i would rather not put on spotify and that being none of them like i would i could be fine putting nothing on spotify because it screws artists and when the company that i'm submitting my music to is good to me as an artist then i'll be good to them so that's the first layer of it but then when i'm involved with the people who are doing the work in the background i want to keep my people in that circle so I might have my own, you know, exclusive singles or exclusive uh, details to an album. You might you might want to release the the Spotify single that's only two and a half minutes long or two minutes long and then have an extended version on the 520 Collective website. Like these are the kind of things that I'm talking about as an artist, not not just as a podcaster, but, you know, different ways of releasing music. You might you might do an album and then put two extra songs on the 520 Collective release because we're trying to build a community. And so it's it's an intentional thing to do as an artist. And we really have to look at it from the consumer's pr- perspective of, well, why don't I just get it on Spotify? Well, the extra songs aren't on Spotify. Um, these extra features that we want, like to put into our, our presentation aren't on Spotify. Like that's that's not for us. I mean, it's a platform. It's a wide net. But we're building our house and that's going to be over on the 520 collective store and so i'm willing to give a little extra more as an artist just to bring you into the community so that you can get my music but then also introduce you to some other artists that are going to be good for your soul frankly yeah yeah well and and it's you know it's going to start with music and the in those conversations that we've had we want it to grow we want to go beyond there we want to be able to have merch on there and you know different items so starting with music hopefully growing to other things it depends again like i said all these things at the end of the day you know the the they're good intentions but we're gonna need the support 
on the other end of it, we're going to need people to come along and say, hey, I'm willing to, to go on this journey with you for it to really work. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, all of this is intentional. It's very intentional. Like, if you don't care and your whole your whole strategy is spray and pray, meaning you're just going to throw something out to every single place and just hope that and pray that other people find you, that, that works a certain way if quantity, um, you know, low level quality, quantity is your game. But if you're looking to pick up high quantity fans, high quality fans, why do I mix up my words? That are more of a community, that are more focused on you and the people around you. This is how it's done. This is how you find that sustainable fan base by building an audience of a thousand people that are just really into what you're doing versus trying to build an audience of 40,000 people that could give a crap, like take it or leave it, whatever. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, you know, one other thing I want to mention, but before I do, if you guys are interested in these services that are coming, uh, go to 520collective.com right now for us. And if you look in the menu, you will see a menu option that says services. Hover over it, it'll give you a drop down, and you're going to see a pre registration form. You can go on there and fill that out, put in your information, let us know what service you're interested in. And that way, once it's available, we can send you an email and say, hey, this thing is, is ready to go. Here's the details. And if you like what you see and you want to be a part of it, we can get you signed up. But it's just, you know, putting in that you want the information whenever it becomes available. So please go and do that because that's going to help us out as well. You know, it's going to give us some insight on o- over these next, you know, few weeks, next few months as we're getting all this stuff rolled out. Maybe where we need to put those priorities, you know, out the gate here. So, love for you to go and do that. One thing we didn't mention before we go, I like to throw out there is uh, uh, LNF's got a new mixtape and singles in 23, jumping back into podcasting as well in January. And I don't want to forget about that. Yeah, man. No, that's awesome. I mean, dude, Lost and Found's been killing the tapes. And we already saw what he did with singles this year, man. So he's got quite the bar to reach. Uh, But I'm excited about him getting back in the podcast. We want to get you on here. Lost and found. Come on here with us. (laughs) I think we wet that help wet that whistle when we when we uh, had him on last time. This is once it hooks you, man. Podcasting gets in your bloodstream, and you're just like, ah, I need it. Next thing we know, he'll have like a string of sparkly lights behind him. But no, for real, we want to get get him back on it. We we we've got some some formats uh, changes coming to uh, the podcast as well. So uh, some opportunities for people to get on here with us, right? I mean, the, dude, there's so much, there's so much stuff that we're working out. And but like we said, we got these ideas for the year. You never know; it ends up being totally different. So we'll see, we'll see what how it all plays out. Uh, Lost Found says, "Dayton time felt hey." You let us know, man. You know, you know what it is. Uh, he's, he, that's what he said. Let us know. Yeah, yeah. Let him know. He knows. He you, knows. You're the one. You're the. You're the. You're the bookkeeper. Right. Don't do it on air, but yeah, <laughs> send that text message. Yeah, man. So, uh, final thing, man. You know, we we talked earlier about the 520 presents, where we partnered up with uh, some of our people on their releases and helped them out. We're actually going to be offering a 520 present package that artists can submit for if they want some help with their release and want to partner up with us on that there's going to be a package available that they can purchase i mean obviously you have to submit the song and we have to basically you know we have to give it the the cosign you know it has to meet some standards that we have but as long as that happens man we will partner up with you uh so be looking out for that man if if you're an artist and you just want to put a team around you for a release we're going to be able to do that uh, you know, and you're going to see us do that with some of the uh, people here on the team in 2023 as well. So you'll be able to see those real time examples of it happening, right? So Zero, you know, may drop a new new single, and the team here at 520 is going to be his his support for that single as it drops. Uh, I know for sure Picasso's got a new album on the way, and we're going to be rolling that out as a team. So. We want to be able to offer that to other people outside of the staff. Yeah, if you're if you're interested in partnering with us um, on some five twenty presents, hit us up and we can get you some info. Like I said, a lot, a lot of this is coming to the site, so be paying attention 
for that as well. We'll we'll keep you updated on it. And we'll, like I said, you know, jump in the Twitter community, jump on the, the newsletter, the Discord, all these different things that we have where we talk directly on a more regular basis outside the podcast with people because we're going to definitely be keeping the updates happening there. So, but yeah, man, 2022 season four of the 520 Collective Podcast. I guess technically yeah, we we're, yeah, it's kind of a wrap, and, but we're, but we're going to be moving on to season five starting in January, man. So any, any, uh, things that you would like to see any new year's resolutions when it comes to the podcast, man, that, uh, you, you would just hope for. I don't know about strictly the podcast, but, um, I mentioned this on Twitter once before. I think that 2023 should be the year of the J. You know, like the Chinese New Year has their like year of the dragon, year of the dog, whatever. I think it should be the year of the J in honor of Michael Jordan. Wow. And um, the theme song should be um, J's on my feet, Miley Cyrus, Jordan Juicy J. <laughs> but uh, it's got to be the caked up remix. What? I'll send it to you. How about... Um... <laughs> How about just or, or how, all how, I want for well, it can't be all I want for Christmas is some new J's because that's dragging twenty twenty two into the into the mix. So no, no, we, get on that. We man. just we need we need the the Air Jordan on them. K drama mixtape of Michael Jordan songs. Let's just made let, by five twenty artists. Let's just run up Air Jordan by K drama all year long. I'm and yeah, maybe we could do Air Jordan remixes as well. Oh. We'll, we'll talk to we'll talk I to drama. If Miley Cyrus and Juicy J would be interested in doing that. I, I guess you can. I guess I you joke. can. I you kid, can find I out, kid. man. I'm, I'm I'm out on that one. You can find out yourself. But uh. <laughs> okay, 2023 year of the J. I'll meet you right there in the middle. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. But yeah, man. So so thank you for tuning in with us this year through season four. Again, we are excited about 2023. A lot of cool things. In the you know coming down the pipeline that we hope that the community gets behind and we hope that they are things that you know are valuable to this Christian hip hop community, man. Because I I think they are. I, Picasso has put in a lot of work. The whole team has put in work preparing for this, man. So uh, I'm excited to see that. Uh, but before we get out of here, we have the industry insider interview coming up after the break uh, this month, man. We got Elf Siege. He is from armor of god esports man so a christian esports team doing really cool things man um you know they got their own discord server it's crazy active uh so if you're into esports and you are a believer you're gonna want to check out this interview man and see what they got going on in armor of god esports so again shout out to this episode sponsor kingdom club apparel make sure you go check them out we'll have the link in the episode notes for you that's it so stick around for the interview let's go let's go artist what is the key to getting your music to your target listener making sure that your catalog is available where people are listening Trackstars is helping independent artists do just that with Nectar Distro. Sign up for Nectar today to have your music delivered for you to all the major digital streaming platforms, including Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, SoundCloud, YouTube, and much, much more. Go to 520collective.com slash Nectar, that's N-E-C-T-A-R now, to sign up and keep 100% of your royalties along with all of your music rights. With monthly payouts, comprehensive reports, especially tools like the single maximizer and account management services, along with a dedicated team that understands your needs as an artist, it really is hard to beat what Nectar Distro and Trackstars bring to the table. So hit up 520collective.com slash Nectar to get started now. It's time for some Wavemaker releases. November saw the release of the highly anticipated Church Clothes 4 by none other than Lecrae, as well as a great single collaboration from Derek Minor, Thistle, and Aaron Cole, and that's the song Pressure. We also got some fantastic lyricism and engaging production from Bats on Southern Hospitality 2, and from mid-century modern, Evitan, DJ Because, and 520 Wave Maker finalist, New Self. That's the Mad Men remix. And those two songs are some singles that you don't want to miss. Finally, 
Pick number five is the Menace Mixtape 2, Civil Disobedience by Dayton and Company. And that's one that you can file under Goes Hard. There's a lot more waves being made in our space, so make sure to check out the 520 Collective website for more, and especially check out the 2022 Dot Wave Maker Awards finalist. Plus, stay tuned for when the winners are announced very soon. I'm Darius Mullen, and I'll talk at you again next month. Hey guys, I want to say thank you for listening to the 520 Collective Podcast. This month's Industry Insider interview is coming up in just a moment. Before we listen in, make sure to check out 520collective.com. It is the home for indie news and faith-based hip-hop. Follow us on social media, including Twitter and Instagram, at 520 underscore co. Also, to get exclusive content, hit up our Audio Mac account, where you'll find extended interviews, playlists, and more. Let's jump into this month's interview. Welcome to this month's Industry Insider Interview, brought to you officially by Bookkeeper247.com. What's up and welcome to another Industry Insider Interview here on the 520 Collective Podcast. As always, we are being sponsored by the Bookkeeper 24-7. Check them out at tbk247.com. And joining me right now on the 520 Collective phone line. Actually, this month, courtesy of the 520 Collective Discord server, we've got from Armor of God Esports, Elf Siege. What's up, man? What's going on, 520? How are y'all doing today? Ah, oh, man, we're good. We're good. It's, it's good to have you on the show, man. Good to get linked up with you guys and see what you're doing in the world of esports, man. Uh, I know we're going to get into it. Uh, but first let's start off. Just let the listeners know, man, a li- just a little bit of your background, a little bit about yourself, man. So yeah, I'm, I'm elf siege. As he just said, I've been in, in esports for years, uh, found 520 through just Twitter browsing socials. Got to know Eric here, love connecting with him and just happy to be invited to this podcast. Yeah, man. So, I mean, obviously, with a name like, you know, Armor of God Esports, right? We're talking about Christians in the in the gaming community. And, you know, you, like you've pointed out to me, man, there's not... Well, I mean, I don't know. I guess there might there's probably a lot of Christians that are into gaming, but maybe not a whole lot in the actual esports world. Is that an accurate statement? Yeah, there is a ton of Christian gamers. Um, but from my experience getting into like the competitive scene, there's not a lot that actually actively share their faith in an esports environment. Yes, there are some, but not very many. Yeah, man. So we know, I mean, obviously, dude, like esports has blown up. Uh, I mean, now you're talking about colleges and high schools with with teams and uh you know professional leagues and all this stuff but for in case in case anyone is not sure about the difference man like what what is the difference between just kind of your casual or avid gamer compared to uh someone that is plugged in and part of the esports world so yeah everybody can be a gamer uh, everybody can t- kind of take that next step to becoming competitive, but you really got to take two, three, four, multiple steps just to become that next level of esports competitor, going to the scenes, getting, getting on a LAN tournament, getting qualifying, however that may be, getting to those next levels. And so for Armor of God, man, like, Kind of take take us back here, man, and and take us to like the initial kind of first steps and how Armor of God kind of came to be. You know, like who who had the idea, where did it uh, originate from, and, and what was those first steps like in putting this so whole yeah, thing together? Uh, myself and our other co owner, King of Puffins, we we were competitive with another esports organization. And we kind of found that the entire esports as a scene was very toxic, very hatred towards each other. And we really wanted to take that and change it to producing something that is 
Christ-centered and family-friendly so that way anybody can ever and everybody can watch what content we produce at a higher and competitive level. Armor of God started January of 2021 with myself and King of Puffins. We brought on a couple creators and it's just, it's taken off. It takes off quicker than SpaceX is right now. I mean... (laughs) All right, all right. So you know, you said something very interesting that you taught. You were talking about how there is like this uh, this level of of toxic environment in esports, right? And, and it's awesome that you guys are trying to you know bring a counter culture to that. I guess just initially, what what do you see as a reason for that being? such an element of the of the space to begin with so yeah we had just seen or especially with competitors right now everybody wants to be at the top of their a game they want to be first place they want to be all over mainstream media as they are number one and i kind of think that ties a lot into toxicity when they're taking it out on their competitors calling people all sorts of obscene names trying to show that they're better than them and that's kind of where we how i personally see that we want to be the ones where we can still play at that high level and very intense gameplay but we don't want to be the ones to bring others down so that way we can be number one and so with with armor of god man you know you talked about you started off with the two of you you've brought some more people on how how many people are involved in the i guess team right It, it would be considered a team uh, we have currently a uh, number changes every single day. I think we've got seven staff currently right now. We're all volunteer. Nobody's getting paid. Um, I believe as in terms of content creation, we have 83 current content creators under the armor of God umbrella. Uh, we have a multitude of competitors that are getting anywhere from rocket league, call of duty, all various sorts of games so i would stretch to say we are over 100 people strong right now oh wow man that's awesome man how do you you guys go about getting your team into these tournaments i mean i'm I'm sure I, i i mean i've got a little bit of a game background but not nearly on the level you guys are at so i'm assuming you have to do some qualifiers or something like that to actually become a part of these, right? Right now at our current level, we are just doing some like local tournaments, some like battle flies, just some very small in tournaments. But we are attempting to take once again that next step, but that's something we're wanting to do. With that mission, man, like what what does that look like? How do you prepare your team members to go into these tournaments and into a environment that you know, has a level of toxicity to it. How do you guys prepare them to go out there and, and be a representation of Christ in that setting? I mean, anybody can be a representation of Christ. It really just takes special people and that are Christ driven, I would say, that share the same values as our leadership at Armor God Esports, that we really want to. Go where people are, not bring people to us and share the mission of Christ, share the vision of Christ and just give them the tools that they may need, uh, whether it be Bibles to hand out, whether it be brochures with different Bible verses, just kind of like get the word to those people. So do you guys kind of see yourselves as a bit of pioneers with what you are trying to accomplish, you know, just... I mean, in general, I mean, I, I, I say I can, as a parent myself uh, of a teenager who wants to spend a lot of time playing Fortnite, right? I think just seeing what you guys are doing, man, makes me stop and say, oh, okay, maybe, maybe I can view this in, in a different way. And it's thanks to you guys going out here and setting an example. Like, like, how do you just view what you're doing when you're able to step back and just objectively look at you know, kind of the path you guys are on at this point, where, where God has put you. God put us here. I mean, that's what we, that's what we're attempting to do is to go out and reach people for Christ. So 
Really, it's just, we aren't the first that have done this, but we want to become the largest. There was one other organization that I had found after starting Armor of God Esports that was already doing it. And since then, I've, I've actually talked to him, we've communicated, and we're actually really good friends. I didn't want to take the spotlight off of him, but I want to coexist and work together because we've got the same exact mission. You know, kind of going back to some of those games you're talking about, because like, like you said, you know, there is this level of violence and, um, you know, very much not, <laughs> not Christian character in a lot of these games, right? Does that impact the choices you guys make at, at any level as far as like, okay, we're willing to get a team involved in this game, but maybe we're not willing to get a team involved in this particular game for reasons X, Y, Z, or, I mean, I guess just how, how does that look? How do you decide what your team is going to be involved in and maybe what they won't? It's, it's really just a, what the community wants if there is a large need for a Call of Duty team, we're going to actively recruit for that. Like right now, we're looking for an Overwatch 2 team because that game is coming out very, very soon. We're getting building hype. We're getting people just kind of interest. They're sending us interest forms, messages, and we're working on that. It's not really a what games we don't want to be in because we would want to be in every game eventually. It's just what are the needs and the trends current? Because honestly, at the end of the day, it's one of those, like I had referred to in the past, it's reaching people where they are, not where we are. With that, I mean, we've got to go into some dark areas sometimes, but we're we're willing to do it for the greater purpose. And I know that we kind of talked about, you know, preparing your team to go out there and, and spread that message, spread that gospel share Jesus in this environment. But, you know, I think one thing that you said that it's, and it's a little bit different too, right? Um, you talked about going into some of these dark areas and yet protecting ourselves. Like what's that, what's, what's those discussions look like with your team as far as, Hey, I know you guys are ready to go out and you're ready to share Jesus. But before we do, let's make sure that you're covered. Like what, what does that look like? I mean, prayer, 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 like first and foremost, but we've also got a counseling team, a prayer and pastor team, and we've got just a bunch of people that are willing to be that backbone for our teams, um, our leadership team, our our pastoral care team, our counseling team, like we're all working to make sure that we are there for our team, and that's what we want to be. And again, guys, with me on the phone line, courtesy of the Discord, it is Elf Siege. He is from Armor of God Esports, where they are bringing Jesus to professional gaming community. And you guys have set up, you know, definitely set up a community around what you guys are doing, man. So uh, if I'm someone listening and I'm like, dude, this Armor of God thing sounds cool. What's my next step, man? How do I go about getting plugged in, uh, getting familiar, getting just, you know, I would say the, the first part is just to bring people in that want to support, but, you know, and then, you know, go from there, right? But but what's what's the first step for people who want to tap into what Armor of God is doing? Man, yeah, check us out on the website. We've got armorofgod.gg. You can join our Discord if if that's something you would like to do. It's literally discord.gg slash armor of God. Uh, we're on every single social media platform, Twitter, Instagram. It's all armor of God esports, but we are all over the place. You've had some really cool stuff happening for uh, the team lately. You, you've had some partnerships kind of come into play. Uh, Talk a little bit about that, man, and and why, especially in the world of competitive gaming, are these partnerships kind of a a, a vital piece? Oh, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, our first partnership we had was Sordog, and it's an apparel and merch company. Uh, Pablo, the owner over there, he is a Christian himself, which is something that we really wanted to kind of keep aligned with. We want them the, the Christ values and everything like that. Um, and so far that has been phenomenal. Pablo is an amazing person. 
Uh, second, we had Advanced GG come reach out to us about a month ago now. No, it's been less than that, actually. But yeah, they are an energy drink supplement. Our team has to be prime focused, prime ready when we get into these tournaments. And Advanced GG's helped us already with that. They've got energy lines, focus lines, chill lines. But they are a fantastic company. And once again, the owner is act an active and open Christian. So I, I feel that is just, it's, it's amazing to be able to align with these key partnerships. Uh, so let, let's talk about, because you guys are kind of, you guys aren't all local to each other that are on the team, right? You guys are kind of spread out a little we bit. We are all over the world. All over the world. So as you kind of got this established man and you went to like your local body right and start selling hey you know man this is what we're doing we're getting into competitive gaming and we're, we're bringing jesus like what was the the response man from like your local body i think that's always an interesting thing to see as well um because it's, it's one thing you know for us to build these relationships online and i think it's easy to find those like-minded people but the, the, the local bodies can always be, you know, a little bit different. I mean, for me personally, everybody that I had spoke to locally about what I had envisioned, what I had, like, written down that we were going to do, they all took it very well. And it was, like, my wife is 100% behind me. I've got a cop that sits behind me that she created with a cricket, and it's got our logo on it. And... It, it sits behind me every single day and it's it's just it's it's a true testament that she is behind me no matter what i want to do in life and that's that's all i can ask for to see people that are supporting what my vision is and what christ has given the vision to me like it's it's just it's it's unbelievable the same way with our other co-owners i mean the support has been just unfathomable and that's truly a testament of Christ doing his work. So what are, what are your, your hopes, man? You know, obviously just from hearing you talk, it's, it's easy to see that you, you're hopeful for the impact that armor of God can make in, in this community, but go, go, go even a little bit further, man. Like it's not crazy to want to see these different pockets of community, right? Like for example, with, with Christian hip hop, right? People want to see Christian hip hop, really influence and maybe even become like the, the, the standard in just the hip hop community. Like what, what's your hopes for, you know, just Christians in the gaming world and, and what that could eventually turn into. So I, I've said this from the beginning and I've told my co-owners this, I've told our entire team, this is I'm not, I'm not looking to be number one, right? I am looking to lead people to Christ and this is a short-term, long-term goal, however that may be. But if I can get one person to give their life to Jesus, Armor of God Esports is worth it. That, that's that been my entire thing all along. But it's it's one person. That's, that's all it'll take for me to succeed as Armor of God Esports is one person heading to Christ. Whenever you're come, talking about just creativity, there's no reason why... Christian creators can't put out a product that is on par with what we see from the mainstream. It's just a matter of, man, why, why, why are we, why are we not doing it? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Could you see like if a, if a video game was faith-based, but done well, what, what do you think the general response from just the regular gaming community might be to, to a game like that? If, if it was done well, I could see it being right up there as the next Call of Duty, as the next Apex, just as the next AAA game. Just it, It's got to be done well. And I'll, I'll say this for any and every single game. It's got to be done well for the community to back it. 100% it could be the next biggest and best, but it's it's got to be done well. It's got to be done really in its entirely. I don't want... And you'll hear this from a lot of the gaming community. We don't want a half of a game. And then it'll come out with DLC and a season pass and a battle pass and all of this other stuff. We want a finished game from start to finish. But yeah, I think it could be the next biggest and best. 
And you'll you'll even see on, for instance, Twitch, there is a lot of very large Christian creators on that platform. And just to give some examples, we've got like Nick A30, we've got uh, Thy Peach Cobbler, and these are people that bring in hundreds upon thousands of people every single day. And but we've got people that are down to say people like Aki and Peach that have sixty to. 80 people all the way down to like myself when I started streaming five, 10 people here and there, but you can be the next best thing. You just caught your content has to be up to par. And so speaking of Twitch and streaming, obviously that's, that's a way people can also kind of get plugged in and, and catch what you guys are doing. Right. I mean, do you guys have like a, a schedule for that or, or what does that look like? So with as many content creators we have, we, I, I, as much as I don't know if this is a hundred percent accurate or not, but we have people almost 24 seven streaming, um, anywhere from 8 AM all the way to 8 PM. There's people streaming day in and day out. There is a Twitch team. If you are interested in that, it's got every single content creator we have and it'll show if they're live or not. I can get that link to Eric and you can post that wherever you'd like. But yeah, it's, it's all over Twitch. We've got people on YouTube and it goes back to we're all around the world. So what about for you personally, man? What, what is your favorite game? My favorite game? Yeah. And I, I, I'm going to get a lot of flack from this, (laughs) but it's old school RuneScape. I mean, I play this game all the time. What, what, what is it about it that, that, uh, you enjoy so much? The grind. I mean, just plain and simple. You're you're doing the same thing for thousands upon thousands of hours until you get the max level of the skill and you've achieved it. And you're like, yeah, now let's keep going. And we're off to the next one. What about just, I guess, your role in the team itself, man? Like, what games are you kind of put into for Armor of God? So, for me personally, I'm the director of content creation. So I kind of oversee all of our content creators and kind of make sure they're doing what we had invited them to do is share Christ while maintaining a family friendly and positive outlook to, so that way people can view at any age. Um, we take those content creators, we create clips out of them, and then we post them on our social media to give them more exposure. Our other co-owner, King of Poffins, like I had talked about, he is our esports director, so he's taking people, making competitive rosters, and then sending them to the places they need to be. We've also got Ivory John, which is, or John Wiley, I should say. He is our director of partnerships, so he got us the Advanced GG partnership, our Sword Dog partnership, and he's working on more and more. So we've all got our individual roles, but they, they all come together so well, and... It's, it's just amazing. Uh, I know you talked about the, the website and where to find Armor God on uh, social media. But what about for you personally, man? If people want to follow what you've got going on, where do they do it? Me personally, every single social media platform is at Elf Siege. E-L-F-S-I-G-E. Um, every platform I'm on there, you can hit me up. I'm even on Discord. Same exact name. I mean, I'm I'm a pretty brand oriented guy. <laughs> Man, I, I am super appreciative that you took time out and and joined us on the podcast and asked some, you know, and, and was answering some questions. Man, I, I'm a, I'm just gonna open up the floor to you, man, in case there's anything that maybe I didn't think about. Any final thoughts or or, or words or advice or anything that you want to throw out there to the listeners? man just a word of advice is never give up give up on your dreams um whether that if you want to be a rapper or a content creator it's like you you gotta you gotta work for it but the reward is so great I, and i'm i'm grateful for where i am today but the grind isn't stopping and we're gonna keep pushing we're gonna keep moving and it's just it's a day-by-day process um i will throw it out to the 520 collective any artist that they, if they would like their music plugged for Armor of God Esports, you shoot me a message on Discord giving me express permission, 
and sending me some links to your tunes. I mean, I've got a large group of people that's always looking for some free music to share. And if it's got Christ's name in it, I mean, that's that's what they want. So, Boom. No. So, so go, go and get connected. Send your music over. Uh, if you're not in the 520 Discord, here's another reason to join. Right? Another way to market your music, man. That, that's awesome. So whenever you're talking about them sending in their music, you're talking about, you know, it can get featured in those Twitch streams like we were talking about and, and a, a lot of different options, right? Yeah, Twitch streams. Um, we'll use your music on YouTube videos. We'll use them on TikTok. We'll use them on Instagram Reels. Any music you send has a chance to get published to thousands upon thousands of people just for free. I mean... I'm not asking for any monetary gain out of this. We just want to help promote where we can. And if you send us your music, I mean, there's always a chance for free. Boom. There it is. Elf Siege, Armor of God, eSports, doing cool things, man, out here, you know, pushing Christian culture into places where, you know, maybe we're lacking a little bit. Maybe, maybe, but maybe we can get better. Maybe we can get better. That that's the goal, right? So, uh, it, it's awesome, man. I'm, you know, super excited that you, you know, hopped into our Discord server and being able to get connected with you and just seeing what God is doing with you and the team. And you know, we're gonna keep challenging people in the community to come alongside of uh, people like yourselves and support, man, because that's the way. If we want to really push christian culture and we wanted to grow and want to see it become what we are hoping it will and what we feel like it should be and that's how we do it again guys go check them out armor of god esports big shout out to all of our episode sponsors including the bookkeeper 24 7 check them out again tbk247.com and Thank you for listening to this month's Industry Insider interview. We'll be back next month. Let's go. All right. We're so glad that you tuned in for this episode of the 520 Collective Podcast. In fact, we don't want it to end here. Make sure to join our server on Discord and be part of the growing community that's centered around faith-based hip-hop. Let us know your thoughts about the topics covered in this episode and tap into a variety of live events. Go to 520collective.com slash Discord now to join.